everyone, Jay here. Today, I am going to be making an Easter bonnet for Easter. We have made two different Easter bonnets in previous years, which include Chuck from Angry Birds, which was made with a card cone, and also Red Birds and a giant tree with some golden egg growing off it, which was made entirely from paper mache. The first thing we're going to need to do is have a balloon like this, it's a paper, well, newspaper, and glue. The first thing we have to do is paper mache the balloon. So we're gonna just take, take a bit of newspaper, we're covered in glue. We're gonna put it on the balloon, and then you're gonna smoothen it out so that it's on the balloon and smooth. Like this. And then you just, all you have to do cover the balloon in its entirety other than like the little bottom of it. Just grab these and just put it on and just move it out just like that. And you get another piece, put it on, put it on just like so. So this is the last piece, we're just gonna put it on and then it will, and then we will just put it onto the radiator. So there. While the balloon is drying on the radiator, it's time to begin step two, which is making some twigs. I've already made a few twigs already, but I need to make a lot more than this. How you would do it is you have like some newspaper, dip it in the glue, and then twisting it. So I'm going to be continuing making a lot more of these sticks, and then when the sticks in the balloon are dry, I can continue making the hat. The balloon and the sticks are dry and now it's time to pop the balloon and get it out of this circle. There we go. That made a very cool noise. I really like that. And now we are going to be painting these sticks. I've started painting the twigs brown and here is my progress so far. I'm just finishing off this one. And then, once this is finished, I'm going to cover the sapphire in blue feathers. Like this, but in blue. Right, so, I'm going to just move on to another one. And once all of these are painted, and the, all the blue, uh, blue feathers have been applied, I will show you. I've feathered these two birds, and I've also made their tails using black feathers. The third bird is still drying on the radiator, and while it is drying, I am going to be making their facial parts with like these bits here, such as googly eyes. All three of the blues have been finished, and here they are! They look absolutely incredible! We have also started making the bonnet itself with this grassy material we've made the grass. Like, as you can see here, we stuck it on with PVA glue. The next thing we are going to be doing is making the basket on the bonnet. By getting these twigs going all around them, um, and then having them stuck on, and then going like sideways, building up. As you can see, we have started to make the nest, and here is our progress so far. Mum's help is needed for this bit, as she has to tie these twigs together. So now, we are going to be adding at least five more of these points and adding the twigs and tying them together. The nest has been finished and here it is! It looks absolutely incredible. We have drawn the words Angry Birds on the front and stuck it on. As the, the, the string was white, we have painted it brown to match the nest. The next thing we are going to be doing is adding tissue paper, well, covering it all in, filling it in, with tissue paper, yellow, and eggs, these eggs. I have stuffed the tissue paper in, and I have glued a load of eggs in with PVA glue, and here it is! The last thing we have to do now is tie the birds in so that they don't move. The birds have been tied in and here it is! The nest and the Easter bonnet is finished! And now it's time to show you it from all the angles. We have the front, we have the side, we have the back, and we have the 
other side. So thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye!